I'm going to let you all know something. Um, at the beginning of the week, Monday, I fucked up a bit. I, um... I did something that I'm not proud of. It was a bit excessive. And it nearly cost me a friendship. Um, it nearly cost me a lot more than that. Just me and my stupid morals. You know, and... Um, I decided to take myself away from everything. From from that day so this whole week you lot wouldn't have known uh, I did very well trying to cover it up but this whole week I've been in my house I've been out twice once to Wildwood with Billy and Cy and once last night to my counselling session with Ella and um, the rest of the time I've been in my house, I haven't been at work, I haven't been training, I haven't been doing anything. The training videos I posted this week um, were filmed the week before. Um, now this isn't, I can't tell you guys and girls the details of what I did um, because it will probably be used against me according to the family law, according to the family court rather. Uh, PTSD um, I should be ashamed of and it's not good enough that I get help for it and apparently um, I'm not safe to be around children even though I have my other two that pretty much live with me and I'm their superhero they're fucking idol they're my best friends but according to the family court um, with PTSD you're not safe to be around children so this, if I went into detail, it would only be used against me. So I'm sure you can understand. Um, many of you go through the same things that um, some things, you know, I can't really um, explain on social media. But this isn't a post for you guys to go, oh, fucking hell, Aaron, keep your chin up, you know, rah, tomorrow's another day. Listen, you know what? I'm cool now, really. Um, with PTSD, sometimes you can have maybe two three months and then you'll just have a bad fucking week sometimes you can have three or four good days and then two whole bad days it, it, it there's no telling but i hit a real low this morning um but i try and stay positive with my posts and you know i post a picture of my house i, I post a picture of me cleaning my bike because it shows others you know, that you can achieve that too. And I know there's still people watching me. There's still kids watching me. There's still, what's Aaron up to? You know, my life ain't that fucking bad when you compare it to other people's. And I'm well aware of that. I'm very lucky. But unfortunately, mental illness is mental illness. The fucking brain is a powerful thing. And what may be a problem to me, uh, which might not be a real big issue to others, but to me, that's the biggest fucking problem in the world. You know, and that's how you've got to look at people. You may say to your mate, oh, Paul, come on, mate. It ain't that bad. Fucking hell, you should try being me. Well, to him, it is that fucking bad. And, you know, you, you'll do well to sort of um, to sort of remember that. Sometimes it's not easy for people to just snap out of it. They need to snap out of it in their own time. But this isn't a po This isn't a video for you to feel sorry for me. Ah, come on, Aaron, it's not. This is me, all right now. What I'm now telling you is that if I've, been, if I've had a real bad week like I have, mental illness does not give a fuck how much money you have or what you do for a job. It does not care. It will knock you down and beat you. It does not fucking care. It will make you emotional over shit that you didn't even think you was emotional. You didn't even think bothered you. It will fucking break you. It does not care about the money. But only you can get yourself out of that fucking situation and that's what I'm going to do I've fucking I've called Billy Billy's come round and I've said listen I need to get myself in a routine I've had no motivation to train I'm getting fed up I need to do something I've never I haven't even been to my own gym 
So what we've come up with a plan, I said, right, let's fucking get it done first thing in the morning. Pick me up tomorrow morning, eight o'clock. All right, cool. Let's train together. Uh, cool. Before breakfast. All right, cool. And then we're going to go together and get breakfast. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to come home. I'm going to have a shower. Then I'm going to be ready for the day. And if I'm tired, I'm going to have a nap. And then it might be for an hour. It might be for two hours. But then when I wake up, I'm going to be refreshed. And this is the plan I've got in my mind. Now, I'm lucky because, come on, man, I'm semi-retired. I, I can do what I want when I want. So I can do that. I'm forcing myself to fucking do that. Now, I'm again, I'm well aware that others out there, you guys and girls, aren't as fortunate as me. Some of you are. Some of you aren't. But if you're not, you need to get yourself out of that place. You need to... You need to force yourself to get in a routine that's positive and that's going to benefit you. That's what you need to do. So if you're working, I don't know, a night shift, then fucking do it the moment you finish. If you're working a nine to five job, have a plan of action. You know, when you get time, just write down some notes and write down your workout or your hobby or what you're going to do that's going to make time for you, what you're going to do that's going to help keep you focused. What you're going to do... For you. That's what you need to do. I know what I'm going to do. This is my life. Yes, I'm fortunate the most. But I still have issues. And now I need to do what I need to do to to, to rectify that and, and turn it into a positive and get myself out of this little dark hole. And that, that's, that's it. Tomorrow morning it starts. You know, and I'm even happy about it. I'm in a better place now knowing that I've got a plan. So... You know, I thought I would share that with you all. And um, hopefully someone out there watching me is going to think, you know what, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Tomorrow, I'm going to be superior. Tomorrow, people are going to work around me. Tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be my fucking day. Hopefully. On that note, I'm watching ITV on demand. Look, Jeremy Carr. If all of else fails, everything what I just said meant nothing to you. Turn on Jeremy Carl. You can't help thinking that your life is great after watching some of this shit. <laughs> but that's fucking plan B. Try plan A first, which was mine. Have a good night, everyone. Have a training, baby.